it ranks at the top of the list for pollution. It's also got the reputation as a dangerous city, and the violent crime rate is one of the highest in the United States. Bakersfield, California, August 25th, 2013. The almond orchard workers have started their day early to beat the heat, but they've made a grim discovery. The location is a pretty almond orchard off Enos Lane and Noriega Road, northwest Bakersfield. They find the bloody body of a male lying face up in the dirt, and they call police. Unfortunately, criminal activity is not uncommon in these places. In this case, the almond groves provide a shield for murder. Police arrive on the scene. There's a male victim who appears to have been shot to death. The sunglasses and wallet are near the body, the cell phone about 40 feet away. The police look at tire marks and footprints, but the victim's shoes are clean. He hasn't set a foot on the ground there. Police identify 45-year-old Todd Chance of Bakersfield, California, by his wallet. This is the hardest thing detectives ever have to do. They go to notify his family. Todd Chance has a wife and three daughters. When the police go to the Chance house, they find his wife, Janae, and his stepdaughter, Jessica, moving old furniture into Jessica's car. When Janae sees the police officer, she fears there's been a car accident. That's her first thought, but the news is even worse. Todd Chance is born in Shafter, a small city in Kern County, just 18 miles west-northwest of Bakersfield. Todd loves horses, off-roading, and he and his brother beg their parents for pigs to raise. He's the kind of kid that loves to be outdoors doing farm work. As Todd grows up, he becomes a handsome kid. He loves the mystique of the cowboy and is always wearing cowboy shirts, the belt buckles, the boots. He loves that image. Todd also loves guns and he drives a flashy 76 Mustang. Girls definitely take notice of him and they flirt with him constantly. Todd goes to work in asset protection at a drugstore. And there, he meets Janae. She's a divorced mother of one daughter, Jessica. Janae is attracted instantly to Todd's rugged good looks, but she has no interest in dating a player. She's been burned before, left by her ex when she was pregnant. She doesn't want to let herself be vulnerable to a bad guy ever again. But Todd is a gentleman. After about a year of dating, they get married. At the wedding, Todd presents his stepdaughter with a pearl bracelet with her name on it. Her own wedding gift. Todd shows himself to be a loving and thoughtful stepfather. He and Janae go on to have two daughters of their own. Todd and his girls are very close. He loves being a dad. He graduates from his Mustang to a black sports car and is known to search his exhaust just to get some attention in the neighborhood. He lavishes as much care on his cars as he does on his daughters. Eventually, Todd becomes a professional truck driver, but makes sure he can stay close to home because his family is his top priority. But now that the worst has happened, the family needs all the help and support they can get. Todd's parents rush to the side of Todd's family and police inform them that Todd has been found shot to death. We're good. They can't understand how this could have happened. Police established that Todd isn't into drugs or gambling. He wasn't a man with dangerous habits. So the clock is ticking here. We're really into that crucial stage of the investigation, often referred to as the first 48 hours, where investigators really want to speak with everybody they can as soon as they can, while people's memories are fresh, while video surveillance is still available and not recorded over, environmental factors may not be affecting physical evidence at the scene. It really is a crucial time. Todd's wife tells police it's really a typical day. Janae spends her Sunday morning watching TV, doing laundry, working on her computer. There's nothing out of the ordinary, but she's waiting for a delivery. 
Janae and Todd's two daughters still live at home, and they can confirm this. The one daughter comes down around 9.30 a.m. and sees her mom briefly, and the other comes down around 10 a.m. Janae tells police that she sees Todd around 7.30 or 8 that morning when Todd leaves to take his dad to a gun show. <laughs> But that's news to Todd's father. He had no plans to go and talk to a gun show. I didn't talk to him today. Well, I thought he called him before nine and wouldn't answer. I called him uh, probably ten or five minutes before nine. I called him about ten minutes and then I said, His family can never imagine what the police have to tell them when they first call. Todd's body is found west of town, and that's opposite to the direction where the gun show would have been. <laughs> Todd does have a very desirable vehicle, so it's starting to look like this may have been a carjacking. Okay. I don't think you Police ask Janae to check. And Janae finds a gun missing from Todd's collection. And he owns several guns. And two handguns. And one of them is missing. And that is the Maybe he brought his 38 revolver with him for protection that day. Or maybe he brought it to sell or trade at the gun show. But detectives began to wonder if Todd really was going to the gun show. Todd appears to be your average family man. He has none of the red flags that would indicate a life leading to foul play. He doesn't need drugs. No. He doesn't drink excessively. No. 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 No.
It's the perfect place for me to tell you a little bit more about our phones and how they can become your phones. You name it, we probably got it. We have the top smartphones from all the major companies. If it's state-of-the-art cameras you want with space-age metal housing, we got them. If you want a smartphone with lots of bells and whistles but won't break the bank, we've got that too. We even have a flip phone, like the Iris Flip. We even have watches. I know what you're thinking. What if I don't have one of these amazing stores in my town yet? Can I get these phones sent to me? Yes, you can. Is it easy? Easy as pie. And for a limited time, new customers get their second month free. Call 800-918-5494 or visit ConsumerCellular.com to switch today. She knows what she's talking about. Pick up the phone. Have you compared your Medicare plan recently? With eHealth, you can compare Medicare plans side by side for free. So we invited people to give eHealth a try and discover how easy it can be to find your Medicare match. This is pretty amazing. I can go on a vacation with this money. I had quite a few prescriptions. That's why people call us. We're going to compare plans, and I'm going to try to get you as much bang for your buck as possible. That's great. This one here covers all your prescriptions, your doctors as well. Oh, wonderful. I, I have a hard time with this. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. Based on our conversation today, I would highly recommend this plan. You're so helpful. You know, you don't know. <laughs> I'm excited for you, sir. Again, my name is Sham. If you have any other questions, give me a ring. Thank you very much. Oh, no, yeah, that was super easy. Oh. See how your Medicare plan stacks up with the big changes for 2025. Just call this number or get started at ehealth.com. Compare plans that cover your doctors, prescriptions, pharmacy, and budget. And compare plans from the nation's top insurance companies. They pay us to help you. How much do you think you'll be able to save using eHealth? At least $300 a month. Would you say you found your Medicare match? Yes, I did. With Sham, did she explain to me exactly what I need to know? Well, I have a surprise for you. Sham, come on out. Oh my goodness! It's a pleasure to meet you today, sir. What does it feel like to be face-to-face? -face? You helped me out quite a bit. <laughs> Call to meet your advisor. They're paid the same no matter which Medicare Advantage plan you choose. Ask them about eHealth Live Advice or get started on your own at eHealth.com. Either way, it's always a free service. See if you could get more for less with eHealth, like these folks did. The savings are unbelievable. I could see the costs side by side. eHealth is wonderful. $1,200 savings in my pocket. I was really pleasantly surprised with that. Call 1-800-568-2261 or go to eHealth.com to compare Medicare plans in your area. eHealth. Your Medicare matchmaker. When family man Todd Chess is found dead in an almond orchard, his family and police struggle to understand what has happened. A freewheeling person with a penchant for flashy cars, his family states that he's headed to a gun show that morning. But his car is found in the opposite direction of where the show is. A 38 revolver is missing from Todd's collection, and his plans for the morning don't seem to make sense. Police suspect a possible carjacking, and when the car is located, they rush to the scene. Detectives respond to a call at a location that's 20 miles away from the almond orchard where Todd's body was found on Tiger Flower Drive. The car is noticed by a neighbor who's afraid that the black sports car is so showy it might get stolen. The area is notorious for crime. The car is dusty, but otherwise completely intact, so not really what you'd expect to see after a violent carjacking. Strangely, detectives find the car is unlocked, and a gun that matches the description of the gun missing from the chance home sits clearly there on the floor of the car. And the car key sits there too, right in view. That the gun could be the murder weapon is possible, but the fact that it's left in plain sight doesn't make much sense. One would expect that if a murder occurred in the spur of a moment, the killer would run away and attempt to dump the gun somewhere where they believed it wouldn't be found. Police are beginning to think this is looking less like a carjacking and more like someone really wants this car to be stolen. Detectives send police out to canvas the neighborhood. The smallest clue or the smallest little bit of information provided by somebody who may have seen something, that could mean everything to the case.
And earlier, you checked on his debit card. Do yeah. you guys have separate accounts or joint accounts? Separate accounts, joint accounts. And the debit card is not being used since last night. Todd and Janae share a bank account, so investigators request bank records to determine if there's been any irregular spending. It doesn't appear to be Todd's habits seem quite normal. They also ask for information relating to text messages that may have occurred between the two of them. Janae feels good to be busy and helpful, but at the same time, she racks her brain for some detail she's just not remembering that might help to break the case open. Before she learned of her husband's murder, it had been like any other day in their marriage. About what time did this morning? 7.30 at this. I, I'm not sure, but it's in between 7.30 and 8. And where do you work at now? I'm at 30 on the When Janae and Todd meet, she's got a full schedule. She's juggling three part-time jobs, and she's determined to make a success of herself. She finally gets an education degree, becomes a school teacher, and then quickly rises through the ranks to become principal. Now she's earning a six-figure salary and is the main wage earner for the family. Janae and her daughters all sleep together that first night when Todd dies. But Janae doesn't get a wink for worry and fear. Luckily for Janae and the girls, the grandparents are on hand to provide some comfort. It's an unimaginable time for this family. But police aren't sleeping either. They're working around the clock, and it may have paid off. Detectives find a lead across the street from Todd's car. A witness sees a middle-aged white woman wearing a hat and sunglasses park the Mustang 